Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you in this video today how to create bag toppers with a handle using any of your framelit dies. So this one is using these stitch heart dies that I purchased on eBay. And I created this Valentine um, bag topper and I wanted of course to have a heart, you know, for Valentine's. And I used the Prima's Tales by You and Me paper pad. It's really gorgeous papers. And I added my Julie Netting doll stamp, some Prima flowers and leaves, and I love how it turned out. And then you would just attach this to a um, cellophane bag and create a really fun gift bag. And then this is what it looks like in the back. You would glue um, these two pieces down to the bag. And I use my Martha Stewart um, edge punch to get a more decorative look on the bottom of the um, bag topper. So you could use your edge dies or your punches. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, I made this one using a different die. So again, as you can see, you can use any of your framelits dies. And this one's not decorated, but you can see how it creates a different handle. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So what you're going to need is um, any 6x6 six six paper, and this is um, some older Teresa Collins paper that I have. And what you're going to do is you're going to score it in the middle. So you're basically just going to fold it in half. Then you're going to take two of your dies. So I'm going to take two of these dies. Now, I... Um, there's another die in between these two dies, but I use the smaller one only because I wanted the handle to be a little bit thicker. Because I know if I use the other one, which would be this one, right here, it would be, the handle would be kind of thin. As you can see, it won't be as thick. So I'm using this one right here. Okay, and then what you're going to do is um, you can just take some washi tape, or if you can, you can use your magnetic board, and you're going to place the heart um, blade side down, and just kind of eyeball it where you want the handle, how you know big you want your handle, and I just kind of place it in the center, so that looks good right there. And then I'm going to take the other die and place that in the middle. So I'm just going to line them up. I'm just going to tape this down. Just make sure it's even. Now you're only going to cut the top part of the heart. You're not going to cut this bottom part. So you're going to use your score line as your guide. And then let me get my machine here. And we'll die cut. I'll show you how I die cut it out. So I'm using my Big Shot Plus. And then let me get my platform. So you're going to place your, um, your platform, and then you're going to place your A adapter and then your cutting plate and then you're going to place um, your paper in the die and then I'm going to take my other cutting plate and I usually put the die, the top die, um, not the die, the top plate in first and then I kind of push the platform in so it's kind of, you see it's already kind of locked in and then I'm just going to move my paper here and I'm going to make sure that the end of this plate is about um, a little bit above the scored line just like a teeny bit and then I'm going to cut only because I don't I want to make sure I don't cut below the score line. Okay, so let me just 
So this machine's a little bit big, so I'm gonna kind of scoot it here. So you're just gonna die cut. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. Okay, so now let's move out the dies. And there you got your cute little heart handle. So that's how I did it. Now I wanted to have the heart so you could see the entire heart. So I created a frame. So I used the two other dies to create the frame. So let's do that. I'll just take another piece of I use this older pad, the Hello My Name Is. That's some really pretty papers in here. So let's use this one. Okay, so I'm going to use this paper right here. And then I'm just going to, let me just die cut this real quick. I'm just going to create a frame. So I'm going to just do something like that. Okay. So let me just die cut this real quick here. So again, you can use any of your framelits so you can get different shape handles. And I thought this heart one was just perfect for Valentine's. Okay, so here's my frame. Okay, and then I basically would just place it like so, right above. And then you get the full frame, kind of like what I did here. And that's how I created it. So I hope you give it a try, and thanks for watching. Bye.